Hello everyone, Jemast here, and I'm doing another part of Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures walkthrough. So, in the last episode we did Pack patrol and now we're going to do Just Chillin'. Uh, question of the day for this episode. Hmm. Have you played Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, uh, 1? Um, uh, this is just kind of a yes or no answer. Actually, oh, oh, okay, scratch that. What did you, uh, on a... Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's try it again. <laughs> Do you like Pac-Man The Ghost Adventures 1 or 2 better? Um, that's new power-up yeah. aspect. Um, in my opinion, I really like 2 better, because I have both games. I have one for the Xbox 60 and the other for the uh, one we're playing now. Um, I like 2 better just because I think the levels are not as long, they're not as expansive, um... And one thing I like better is, it's it's a bit easier, I gotta say. And like the main thing is, I, I think I think by now they kind of fine tuned the uh, the game to kind of to kind of as most like as close as perfection as Namco could get. Because um, I mean I remember the first game there was a lot of like sequences where it's like okay come on that wasn't my fault that I died. Or, like, there are some sequences where it's like, okay, come on, this is stupid. But in this game, I think it's pretty good. I, I think I think they went for the traditional, like, play it safe route, and it kind of helped out in that way. Well, in Pac-Man The Ghost of Adventures 1, you can definitely tell that th this was their first time ever making a game like this, and they didn't really know what to do. Okay, not saying that this that was their first time. They obviously made Pac-Man World uh, 1, 2, and 3, but... It's been a while since they made Pac-Man World 1, 2, and 3, so obviously they had to get back into their workings and find out what made the Pac-Man World games good. And I'm guessing when they didn't know how to make the Pac-Man World games good, they just kind of uh, stuck with a new type of game style and they had to get that working. So in, like, in Pac-Man The Ghost Adventures 1, which I'll probably show off at some point, um, you could definitely tell that was their first time trying a game in, in that style or that new type, you know, because it definitely shows. There's a lot of times where it's like, okay, th they just bring you, like, five new power-ups in one level, and it's like, okay, obviously they're trying this out just to see what can work and what doesn't. Um, already collected all the cherries. I think this level's pretty short. I don't know, I'll check. Um... But, I got all the top things, whatever. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's the question of the day. Uh, which which game do you prefer, Pac-Man The Ghost Adventures or Pac-Man The Ghost Adventures 2? I gotta say, some of the bosses in Pac-Man The Ghost Adventure, Adventures was pretty bad, or were pretty bad. Um, there was a lot of times where the bosses in that game... I would die to, and I swear I was doing the right thing, but the game was just like, oh, let's bring something cheap in so to make you die. I'm talking about you stupid monkey boss. Gosh, that... I'll, I'll tell more when I actually do a playthrough of it, but the monkey boss. Oh my gosh. Oh. The monkey boss. Oh boy, there was tons and tons of deaths on that. I hated that boss. And I bet other players did too. Very unfair, very cheap. One second uh, decisions, kind of like that. Um, but hey, this is not Pac-Man Legal 2 Adventures 1. That game was okay at best, at worst, pretty terrible. Uh, this this game is, uh, at, at best... It's actually really good. At worst, it's okay. You know, that, that's kind of that's kind of my view on this game. Uh, I don't know if I should tell my opinions in walkthroughs because with walkthroughs, I'm not gonna complete the game. I mean, I think I already stated that on the first episode. But whenever I do a walkthrough, I'm not completing the game. It's not to completion. Um, so it's like, I guess I'll just say it now. Uh, but I'd probably rate this game probably z uh, a 7 or an 8 out of 10. 
You know, it's like, it, it's, it's really good, just, you know, not like Mario or Sonic level. And we just got finished with that level. Also, we just brutally murdered a, 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 like a dragon here by literally freezing his stomach and then blowing it up from the inside. I know it wasn't intended to be that cruel, but you gotta admit, we just did that. And Pac-Man's just, like, smiling. Like, if someone could, like, zoom that in. He's just like, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> you just, you just murdered somebody. You, you just murdered somebody. He doesn't care. What time is that? Five minutes. Um... I don't know how long the next level is. I'll have to see, because I might be able to do to do another level. I'll check. Cause it's only five minutes. I I can go like to ten. Pro I want each episode to be ten minutes, but I can go just a tiny bit longer if it go if it goes. Okay, I can do another level. So next level. Silly skies or silly? I, I I think it's I think they pronounce it silly. I haven't seen the show that much. Well, okay. Well, I've seen a couple episodes. I know, I know what they pronounce it, but yeah, I, I think it's silly. But uh, you know how many, how long ago I have watched the show? It's it's been around a year. I mean, I still think it's a fun show, and you don't really need to watch the show to like this game, but or to know the story of this game. You just need to know the Pac-Man games in general. Um, but, yeah, I haven't seen the show in a while. So this is our first, uh, I guess... I don't know how I say it. It's not a first, but I guess it's a 3D... Per, uh, a third-person shooter, yeah. Our, our first third-person shooter uh, level. There's a couple of these. So this is like... Our first thing, and it's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna play it over again when I like say, "Oh yeah, best Pac-Man levels." You know, I'm not gonna be like, "Oh yeah, silly skies." <laughs> it's like, no, it, it's it's gonna be a level where it's cool to play it once, but probably like three or four times, you're just gonna get kind of bored of it. It's very standard. It's basically just go go in a straight line and shoot. I mean, it's really it. Also, I guess it's nighttime. I mean, it doesn't really seem like nighttime. And sorry if you can't really hear uh, the song much, because freaking the blasts are so loud. But the song's like. So, yeah, it's kind of like that. Just your standard Pac Man that goes to your song. But that's it. Do we really need this level? No. Um. Is it good enough to have its own standalone game? No. Was there any reason to put this in besides trailer fuel? No. This is a useless level. <laughs> I I could literally do the same exact thing with Pac-Man. I mean, besides the shooting part, I could just literally be going through this level as Pac-Man. I really don't know why they put this stage in. I mean, it it, def it definitely is just a, a useless level just to waste time. If you saw my Phoenix and Ferb and the uh, Phoenix Ferb Crossing Dimension Let's Play, you know that the flying levels were mostly, um, actually almost every single flying level, except for like one or two, were actually just useless levels, and same thing here. All the silly levels are just, uh, useless. You don't need to do it. They literally just made the levels just to say, oh hey, no something new for the trailer. Because literally the trailer... Like, there was a tiny bit Pac-Man in, like, almost all silly. Just sa just stating, oh yeah, this is something new to the game. Welp! I think that's it for this video. So, in the, in the next episode, we are going to play Gotta Bounce. See you guys then.